In today's world, dealing with things like stress, anxiety, or depression due to the constant bombardment on our mind from things like social media or your job's office space is getting more and more difficult. How about a magical helmet that would allow you to automatically understand and fix your emotions or thoughts? Could it even conceivably record what you're dreaming? While that sounds like science fiction, I assure you that it is not and could be possible this year already. It's a real product and in this video you'll learn all about it. Just like Elon Musk's Neuralink, the company Kernel was founded in 2016 to explore the world of neuroprosthetics in implantable brain computer chips to give humans the ability to control machines and computers just with our minds. But unlike Neuralink which currently focuses on medical devices, Kernel pretty quickly shifted their focus onto building a non-invasive brain-computer interface for average consumers in the form of a simple helmet that you can put onto your head to immediately start quantifying your brain and mind. This much safer and nicer sounding approach opens up the door for the average person to even have more abilities than the majority of high-end brain imaging machines today that cost hundreds of thousands of dollars and take up whole operating rooms. But what exactly is Kernel and where did it come from? Well, Kernel was founded and is still owned by entrepreneur and CEO Brian Johnson back in 2016. Brian Johnson is an American entrepreneur, venture capitalist and author. He was also founder, chairman and CEO of Braintree, a company which specializes in mobile and web payment systems for e-commerce companies. Braintree acquired Venmo in 2012 for $26 million, the combined entity was acquired by PayPal in 2013 for $800 million. The coincidence that both Elon Musk and Brian Johnson had ties to PayPal due to their previous companies is quite interesting. With the newly acquired capital of hundreds of millions of dollars, he then followed in Musk's footsteps of creating a very risky company in an unproven emerging field. And this is how the company Kernel came to be. As of this video there's close to 100 employees working at Kernel. All that makes this startup a very promising one in the field of BCI but now let's get to what they actually want to accomplish with the help of this futuristic helmet. Kernel is very upfront about the abilities this BCI helmet has and what they intend to use it for. Unlike Neuralink and Paradromics, they state that this is soon intended to be a consumer device and is not just mainly focused on medical applications like treating neurodegenerative diseases or helping patients with their inability to move around on their own. You might wonder if a pure non-invasive helmet solution would be enough to get any kind of information about how you're feeling or what you're doing. Kernel showed us their capabilities in their introduction blog post where they managed to identify what song a person was listening to or which person they were hearing talk just by having their brain activity monitored in real time. The most near-term functionality of Kernel's revolutionary brain-computer interface helmet will be the ability to always know the current state of your mind. Have you slept too long? Have you slept too little? Are you in a creative state of mind in which you could optimally write or draw works of art? The headset will be able to know everything about your brain and automatically derive suggestions on what you should do to better your inner feeling or performance in whatever you want to improve in. Your ability to learn new things with the knowledge, of when the optimal time is to do so and when it isn't, will be a huge improvement at the rate of which you learn things and save so much time that it's hard to imagine a world where this is commonplace. But we might not need to wait that long. Full-on production is planned to start in the fall of 2021. 50 prototypes have already been sent to organizations to figure out awesome and innovative applications for this new one-of-a-kind device. They are confident enough to say that by 2030, the far majority of people in the world will have a future even more advanced version of this headset in their own homes. But that is not all. Just like Musk, Brian Johnson said that the future of humanity will be a combination of human and artificial intelligence and that Kernel's objective is to read and write the underlying functions of the brain, to outcompete or at least co-evolve alongside machines. The ability to alter information in your brain opens up even more potential of what this device can offer. For example having it automatically suppress feelings of anxiety, depression or stress without you even knowing it had done that or having it treat neurological problems like concussions of which people can suffer without even being aware of it. 
Do you want to feel happy? Just up the happiness slider on your kernel app the the kernel helmet could simply make you feel feelings of happiness. You have insomnia? Just tell the kernel headset how long you want to sleep and it would help you to fall asleep and stay asleep for as long as you want to without having to take any medication with potential side effects. While that is a bit further away than the previously mentioned functionality of getting help to manually improve the state of your mind, it's amazing to imagine all that power all inside of what is just a helmet by possibly 2030. At the end of 2020, 50 prototypes of the Kernel Flow Helmet were sent to 50 organizations, universities and schools that had the most innovative ideas to use that headset for. One of these helmets were sent to the Wisconsin Institute for Sleep and Consciousness, University of Wisconsin-Madison. A group using the Kernel device to study lucid dreaming and meditation for deep meditative states. A study back in 2011 showed an early prototype of where a picture of what a person was dreaming was generated just from brain activity. While the picture was very fuzzy, you could definitely get a picture of what that person was experiencing. Now it's almost 10 years later and the kernel headset is about to release with much more power and performance than that of the study. The ability to finally record all those weird, funny or even scary dreams could with the help of emerging artificial intelligence finally become a reality. Another potential application for a future version of this headset could be the ability to detect at what point during sleep you're in the best state of mind to start a lucid dream and then activate the part of your brain that's in charge of entering lucid dreams. Then the headset could help you stay in that dream for longer than usual. This could potentially be an early form of virtual reality. Maybe this is a potential application the Wisconsin Institute is currently experimenting in. You might wonder how this magic futuristic device is even supposed to work without having to implant it into your brain like how the other brain-computer interfaces are supposed to be integrated. The way kernel flow works is somewhat similar to the way Mary Lou Jepsen's open-water headset works. The kernel flow headset is a time domain near-infrared spectroscopy TDNIRS system. As the name suggests, NIRS uses infrared light to measure brain activity. The advantage of using light is that it's safe and works from outside the body, no surgery required. Specifically, a laser pressed against the head shines light into the body. The light travels through the various layers, skin, bone, brain, etc., bouncing around like so many pinballs. Some portion of the light is absorbed by the body, while some of it makes it back out after lots of bouncing around and can be measured. So long story short, it measures your brain activity by shining red lasers through your head and seeing where in the brain there's blood flow and thus activated neurons. At the moment it's unclear how the writing process of activating neurons by the headset is going to work but if it's anything like open water, they'll likely use ultrasonic sounds to accomplish that. Kernel flow isn't even the only device kernel is working on. There's also kernel flux which due to its size and cost is more of a medical device. It has similar functionality and use cases as the kernel flow device but generally is said to provide much quicker and more precise information about brain activity. And unlike kernel flow's TDNIRS system, it uses the much more battle-tested MEG system that up until recently was 100 times the size it is now. So perhaps in the future just like previous devices, it will move from medical use to consumer use. The direction at which we're moving with all these newly released or upcoming devices is both amazing and scary at the same time. But Brian Johnson's clean and simple way of bringing brain-computer interfaces into the mainstream might make it less scary than for example Neuralink's implantable brain chip would. Whether Kernel helps the humanity achieve that broad theory, and goes even further beyond, will largely depend on how it decides to use Johnson's money, and whether the hurdles of scientific progress impede the founder's bold vision of the future. Johnson says, we're entertained by Black Mirror, but outside of that, we're not discussing human intelligence as a populace. He's trying to get the best minds of our generation in government and tech and media to talk about this problem. Brain science is the new rocket science. So what do you think about Kernel's approach to brain-computer interfaces? 
Do the benefits of finally being in control of your emotions and feeling or having the ability to record your dreams outweigh the privacy or ethical concerns of having a device and can literally read your mind? Are you maybe even planning to buy your own kernel flow headset once it is released or are you counting on Elon Musk to once again rule this field with his invasive but powerful Neuralink chip? Please tell us about it in the comments and let us have some nice discussions about it. We are a, a group that is deeply passionate about what we do. Uh, we sincerely believe that what we are working on will become, a mo uh, become among the most consequential developments uh, in the world over the coming years. And we'd like to find people of all sorts of skill sets, uh, from uh, neuroscience to signal processing, data analysis, across the board. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.